to be a shorter salmon season on the Oregon and Washington coast with a limit on your catch. Our Emily Sinovic is going beyond the headlines tonight with more on how this could have an impact on all of us. You don't have to be a fisherman out here on the coast to care about what could be a very bad salmon season. The cutbacks on fishing for salmon this year could have a ripple effect that impacts entire communities, even the cost of salmon at your market counter. I'm I'm captain. Uh, it's a family-owned business. My Robert Gudgel's family has been in the fishing charter business since the 70s. Their Ilwaco business is preparing for a lean season this year. Been a part of this the fishing industry my whole life. The entire town is bracing for the season, like Carla Nelson, who grew up in the family fishing business. She now depends on that industry to support her bookshop by the boardwalk. It impacts everyone, you know, here on the peninsula, you know, between uh, the sports fishing, the commercial fishermen that live here, their families that are here, that support the local businesses in the area. Um, and then for the charters, you know, we have several wonderful charter businesses here. The Pacific Fishery Management Council just approved limits on the number of salmon you can catch along the northern Oregon and Washington coast. Gudgel is lucky because Ilwaco is in a short stretch of coast allowed to fish for coho this year. You can have two salmon in Ilwaco. You can have one king or one, you can have one king and one coho or two cohos. Why? Some environmental experts blame bad ocean conditions, including warm water temperatures that affect the food chain and environment for salmon to grow. The forecast this summer predicts about half of the salmon population that was predicted for last year. Yes, it's going to impact the, the price of salmon. It'll definitely impact us. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it, it'll impact the whole peninsula. Um, you know, the restaurants, the hotels, motels, the food, fish processors, the buyers, everything. And why, why is that? Because you're, we're, we've lost 50 days of fishing. There's 50 days there that we should have been open in the first part of June and, uh, and gone till September. One business owner told me this reminds him of 2008 when there were other salmon fishing cutbacks. And then he lost 15 to 20 percent of his business. Reporting in Owaco, I'm Emily Snovic, Coin 6 News.